Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to record uh, how to set up a Git server for myself. Like for myself I'm going to do it. Alright, so let's get started. So first of all, what is Git? <laughs> okay, so Git is a, con a stupid content tracker as you can see in the man page and it's one of the most used tools in the world of software development. And in case if you don't know how to use Git, then you should read this book Pro Git which I downloaded from the documentation of Git. Uh, I'll give the link in the description. It's one of the, you know, really nicely well written book and it is uh, provided in the documentation. So as you can see, it's not something I'm just promoting. It's uh, the doc says you should read it. And one of my friend read four chapters of it and he got a really good hang of it. And if you know how to use CLI, unlike most soy devs, you will feel that it's a pretty simple tool to use. It's like any other command line utility. And it also a mixture of a lot of other tools like diff, uh, which we use in Linux to compare files line by line. All right, so Git kind of have these kind of tools inside it. So let's just get started. And let me first introduce you with um, Git in case if you are not familiar. So let's create a repo, poem, let's go into poem. And this is a stupid directory, it doesn't have anything. Now I'll do git in it and now it have this dot git file. This is like a brain of git, you know, everything, every file, every change, everything is just going to get saved inside this code dot git directory uh, as an object, all right? So let's just create some new file like, um, first rain.txt so this is a new file and if i do git status so right now this file is like some random file git don't know what this file is and i want to tell git that this file matters to me and i want you to track it so as you can see it's a content tracking system and right now this first rain is not getting tracked by git so what i'll do is git add first rain.txt now no most noobs i see they just type dot this is not good just type the file name all right, so now if I do get status, and by the way, you can read the man page anytime for any command like get status, get commit, and I will encourage you to do it. All right, so get status. So now this file is, you know, new file edit, but this is not committed. All right, we have to commit the changes. We have to make a snapshot of it. All right, so get is tracking the changes, but it's not committed. So basically it's not saving you know the commit is like a snapshot you can just all right it's a it will attach an id why i'm explaining it's not a tutorial guys okay so the thing is uh this is cool but what if if i open this file and uh add a line like la 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 all right get status so as you can see this file is now modified all right so i haven't committed this and now this is a stage change here now I want to just remove what I did. Now most noobs I see they don't know how to do it. And let me tell you, you can just do git restore first rain.txt. And now if I do git status, now the changes have been reverted. My la 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 has been removed. This is cool. Let's just add it again. Now git status. And now I want to commit this change. All right. So let's just commit git. Okay. I haven't staged these changes. All right. I added the new file but I also had to stage these, you know, changes. So git add first rain.txt, git status, all right, okay, git status. So now this, all right, I think this is hard to explain. You know, I do it, I know it, but I don't know, like I, even I don't know, all right. So git commit is something which we have to write in order to commit these changes. And as you can see, we got a lot of options. We can add a date, we can add an author, but all the normie tutorials where you go, nobody talk about all these things on the man page. They just teach you one thing which you have to know, which is hyphen M. All right. Now you don't even have to type hyphen M. You can just type git commit and then enter something like a uh, my first commit. All right. And you can save and close it and the commit have been done all right as you can see the commit is done now this is cool um, my changes have been committed and as you can see the git status is cleaned now i want to add some new lines but i don't want to do it in this master branch okay i want to create another branch so there are multiple ways of doing it there is this command branch okay you can see the man page so you know list create delete branches whatever you want to do you can do it so what i want to do i just want to you know create a new branch so hyphen c is for creating 
uh i guess i don't know i actually to be honest what i do is get checkout hyphen b and then something like um dev branch all right but this is not how i should do it i should do it properly uh i think it's hyphen c all right yeah it is hyphen c get branch uh how to list it okay so we got two branches here dev and master so let's just get check out so check out is for changing the branch all right so we want to check out to dev and now the branch is switched we are in dev and let's just open it another line hunger games la 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 all right so i save this let's do get status so as you can see it's modified and i can do get commit again this time i don't really have to give the message i can just type you know uh, something like uh, adding new lines all right so the commit message have to be something meaningful but in my case i just edit uh, randomly but as you can see i cannot commit because uh, my changes were not staged okay so you have to stage changes so stupid me get add post rain and then get commit and adding new lines so three insertions and one file change so as you can see the changes now one really good feature is that if i open this and add some new line so new line and save this and i do get diff to this first frame so it shows me the difference between the previous and whatever you did right now like right? the new change so this is cool most people don't use it but you should try using it more uh, if you're a beginner in git and all right so let's just do the get restore thing again to just revert that change suppose i don't want that change and as you can see we we have a clean clean repo right now so i can just get check out to master again and then i can get merge all right so as you can see there are so much when we merge we can do like the options and you can read everything from just the main pages so git merge is basically we are going to merge dev into master again so merge dev um you know so i am in master so i'm going to merge dev all right so merge dev so as you can see now master have all the lines which uh, we wrote in the dev branch all right pretty cool so git branch delete or just hyphen d and dev yeah branches deleted so this is the clean way of doing it most people just create branches and keep going now i want to show you some real advanced things like how to manage the merge conflicts but i don't know if um, we are ready for it or not so let's just add some line but before that let's just make a branch again git branch and this time i'm going to create again def def branch all right so uh now i'm going to open some file and add something already so some bug i added in my master branch and get check out check out and go to dev now, i don't know if i can check out no i don't think because first i need to okay i checked out but my changes were not committed in master so even i i get so confused sometimes with git git is git is actually a confusing tool let's just get back to master and add those changes so first frame git commit adding a bug git check out so i committed those changes all right so dev and git now i'm going to open the first range so bug is not here because this branch is fake no bug all right so as you can see i added uh, a line at the same place okay the third line here it's no bug and there it was added a bug so git add first range git commit um all right no bug here git check out to master again all right so now i'm going to git merge dev again and let's see what happened so oh we got a conflict merge conflict now most people get scared of it like i i see so many people around me who try to avoid this situation like they they just try to revert everything they don't face it all right i want you to face it i mean don't get afraid you're not going to you know end this planet by doing something here so if it's a huge file don't worry just have to search this this something like this all right and when you find it you just have to make a decision whether you want to keep the head or you want to keep the dev all right so i don't want to keep the bug 
so head is basically the current all right so you you merge from some another branch and uh, you merge into okay let's just call the branch you're working in um puppy and you are merging from some another branch which is devil so just if if okay head is basically the puppy that's what i'm trying to say all right so just delete it and now the merge conflict is fixed as you can see um okay both modified now git add first train git commit perfect merge git all right so everything is fine now i can delete dev branch as you as you can see so git uh, branch fnd dev so that is so nice like if you if i do great branch list so it's just one branch master and every time you do some change create some other the branch now all of this is great now the people get confused when we work with the remotes all right so what is the remote so remote is basically like you sit on your computer and you just push your branch to some another you know remote repository somewhere in the cloud and that's what we are going to do now so let me open teamux here and but first for you know pushing we have to build a server so let's just build a server so how to how to make a git server i need to get the guide from the git docs this is the guide actually so i need to search into my instance and it's pretty simple to make a git server so you just have to create one user git so i don't know how to create user in previous actually i know add user git all right i i just have to type add user previously is really nice just add git full name okay git server uh uid leave empty login group um git is fine login group is git invite git into other no uh, login class shell zsh let's just use zsh yeah home directory all right uh, it's fine okay uh home directory permission mm, it's fine use password based authentication mm, yes uh use an empty password no no random password well no and a password let's just create a password okay there is nothing to say here so i'm just doing it so pass generate on um, my gate all right it's a um, wow you can see this fuck me okay wait ah uh, how do i do this wait okay first of all i just want 12 digit password okay and then i just want the second line so tail hyphen n1 xlib selection c uh an entry already exists oh my oh yes i want to overwrite it all right just paste it paste it again lock out the account after creation mm, what is this no yes add another user no all right so as you can see the user creation process is done and now what i can do is i can ssh into my user instead of root okay so git ssh git at the rate bugswriter.com and let's just enter the password so it's in my clipboard so i am logged in as git and this is a zsh shell so now what i can do is okay let's see what i can do is so uh, as you can see i'm ssh into git and i have to make a directory dot ssh oh this is so basically i have to create myself an ssh access in this um, git for this git user okay so make directory ssh and chmod 700 this is just some ssh permissions which you have to give and after that um, i have to create this authorized keys file which is which is going to contain my you know personal um ssh because I want to give access to me. So in my SSH directory, I have this IDRSA public directory. So IDRSA public is basically my public key of SSH and I want to copy this. And now I want to go back and I will go into SSH directory and I will create this file, which is 
uh, authorized keys so authorized keys all right and i will paste my keys which is my public key so i can show it to you i saved it i closed it and now i can go back and now this is done like everything is done i suppose so what i can do now is i can basically start building my git repos so let's just make one repo so git uh, init bear poem all right so bear is something we, okay the thing is here in this git repo i need i for myself for myself to work on this i need this file okay i need this file here but in reality when we do things in server we don't need these files you know we just need this dot git directory because these files are kind of like useless all right so uh, because if, whatever we contain in this file are here in this dot directory in this objects all right so uh, we have to create this pair repository which means that we don't need those files like we just want a bare repository we just want to get that we just want to see that dot get directory nothing else okay so let's press enter and as you can see we okay i created this poem but i want to delete this all right because i want to add this dot get extension so i will know this is a dot get directory so because it is a got dot get directory in real so i press enter and as you can see I created a bare repository now what I can do is here here I can add a git remote add so let's just add it so bugs and uh, the name is poem right so that is the name I don't know if I have to type this or not all right okay dot git is also necessary so I'm okay I failed to add the the option so i have to give the name actually so name is like origin or my gate so i want to give this remote my gate uh, all right so my gate is like my personal gate and the center so now i added this remote gate remote um all right so this is push it now the the file this first frame so git push uh, my gate master so i want to push the master branch only so as you can see i pushed it without any issue because you know i had my ssh keys there uh, so it didn't ask for any kind of authentication now how i will know that this thing got pushed correctly or not so let's just um, go into the temp and try to get pull uh, i mean get clone what the fuck okay so get at rate bugs writer dot com and then something like uh, poem dot get and I want to clone this. So I'm clone this. Let's just go into poem. And this is my first reign. La la la. Okay. So this is so cool. Like, okay, my own gate. Uh, now in next video or in some video, you know, I want to uh, show a website, something like Seagate. I don't know. I should do this in this video. Okay. Seagate, not this gate. Gate uh, website. Let's just see. So Seagate is something like this, which allow you to showcase your entire Git uh, as a, you know, as a website. So you can see any project, any files quickly, and it's good. Like you can see your code anytime and it's, it's lovely. I want to actually, I hosted before, but I want to do it again. So I'll do it in some another video. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something new uh, in all this process. So. We'll do something someday. Bye.